Welcome to my home lab. In this new video, we're gonna extend Open Media Vault with Nextcloud. We're gonna install Nextcloud on a Docker container. Today, we install Nextcloud on our Open Media Vault computer. Therefore, we go to the dashboard, log in. Admin and the password. Log in. Only take a minute. Voilà. Very important is Docker has to be installed on our Open Media Vault computer. I have a video about it on my channel. You go to Services, Compose, Parts. You see. I don't have any files for the moment, so we add a new one. Add from example. We're going to have a list of examples. You see it here. And we search for Nextcloud. Next is OK. We click on it and add it to the compose file. We give it a description Nextcloud. Add. Only take a minute. And voilà. You see, it's down. And the first thing we need to do is to apply it. Apply. Yes. Again, one minute. And voilà. Xcloud is down. So we can start it up. But first, we need to. Edit it because port 443 is already used for our open media vault. So we need to change that. Click on it and we put 8443. So again, the first port is on our open media vault computer. The second port, port 43, is inside the Docker container. That you cannot change. The first port you can change if you have doubles. Save it. And select it and click up. You see, it's very quickly. If you do it the first time, you have to download Nextcloud. So it can take a minute. But for me, I have already done it. So it's very quickly. If you see end of line and no errors, you can close it. Et voilà. You can go to containers. And you see Nextcloud, the image running, and port 8443. So we open a new tab, HTTPS. The IP address from my server. Eight, port eight four four three. Because it's a self-signed certificate, we have to allow it. Et voilà. We can install Nextcloud on our Open Media Vault computer. For now, this video. We use the built-in database, the SQLite database. It's not for production, but for testing, it's okay. In the next video, I'm gonna use my SQL or MariaDB. So the data folder is okay. We have to give it a username, to give my name, and a password. Okay, data is okay, SQLite okay, install. Click on it, it's only take a minute, see it's busy, I come back when everything is okay. And voila, next cloud is installed. We have some 
recommended apps, calendar, contacts, mail, Nextcloud Office, notes, and talk. You can install it, but for now we're going to skip it because it's only a video about installing Nextcloud. Skip it. You have the dashboard, some information. You can look at it if you want. I'm going to close it, and we have the dashboard. You can customize it. Here you have dashboard. Files, see it here. Photos, again, some built in photos and activity. Et voilà. The next thing is to install the app on our Windows computer and connect it to our Nextcloud on our Open Media Vault computer. To connect our desktop computer to our Nextcloud server, go back to the website from Xcloud, click on download, and you see here desktop and mobile apps. Click on it, and you see here for Windows 10 or more, Mac OS 12 or more, or Linux. You install the one that's for you. Or Windows or Mac or Linux and install it. I have already done it. Click on it and you give this screen. You click on connect, give the IP address from our server, for, from our Nextcloud server, yes. TPS, very important. The IP address. From the server, port eight four four three. Next, we have a self-signed certificate. We have to trust it. Okay. It's only take a minute. We have opened browser window to accept the connection because we use HTTPS. We have to accept certificate. We can log in the account we used and the password. Log in. David. Ebola. Grant access. We are connected. We can close the browser window and Ebola connect. And here we have the next cloud app. Everything is synchronized. We have the account. We can look at the local directory. We have documents. Photos, you see, it's are the same photos from Nextcloud. Everything is synchronized between the server and our desktop computer. We are at the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up or leave a comment. Thank you very much and see you later.